Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Sabre Airbag Textile Jacket. The RST Sabre Textile Jacket is a short, sporty textile jacket that comes in two versions. You can have it with or without a high-tech airbag inside it. This version has the airbag and that means it's got a load more tech and it also costs £200 more than the non-airbag version. I'll explain a little bit more about the airbag later on, but let's talk about the main features that are shared between the regular jacket and also that airbag version. The outer is made from HTC, that's a high tenacity nylon material that has a matte finish and provides good levels of abrasion resistance. It's bolstered by external plastic shoulder protection as used on RST's race kit and then there are accordion stretch panels, which are also derived from racing. They sit above the elbows and also around the shoulders where they give a lot of expansion room. And that's particularly important in this airbag version because an inflated airbag needs expansion room to go into. There are short air vents at the collarbones here, though on this airbag version, that's less important because the airbag itself stops any air flowing through to your skin. So it becomes much less important. The outer fastens with a simple zip up the middle and then there's a storm flap behind it that blocks any rain that might get through the teeth of the zip. There are fit adjusters on the sleeves and also at the waist where there's a combination of a, an accordion stretch panel and a velcro belt over the top. The cuffs, they fasten with a velcro band. They're very slimline cuffs and it takes quite a bit of work to wiggle a pair of gloves inside. Although I did actually manage to get a pair of winter gloves inside there when I tried that as an experiment. It just means if you've got a pair of chunky armoured cuffs on your gloves then I would expect you to struggle to get them inside this jacket if that's the way you prefer to ride. Switch into the inside of the jacket it's protected against rain by a Sinaqua breathable waterproof membrane and then there's a full sleeve removable thermal liner. There's one pocket in the thermal liner that's replicated in the main shell if you buy the non-airbag version but you don't get that pocket if you go for the airbag jacket like this one here. The Sabre textile jacket comes with armour for the shoulders and the elbows, which meets the basic level one of the CE standard. If you buy the airbag version of the jacket, you get a level one back protector included as well. But if you go for the non-airbag jacket, you need to buy the back protect insert itself as an optional extra. The overall protection rating for this jacket under the latest CE standard is single A, which is in common with most textile jackets on the market at the moment. Although subsequent production runs of this jacket may show a higher specification than that because that's always a possibility with any garment. So let's talk about the airbag which is in this jacket here. If you go for the airbag version, it's the in and motion airbag that's used in a wide range of RST products and that's also available from other brands in separate under vests. It uses a series of sensors to predict a crash and then it fires an airbag to protect your neck, back and torso. It takes about 60 milliseconds to do that, which is about half the time it takes to blink. Going for the airbag version of this jacket raises the price from £149.99 for the straight Sabre textile jacket up to £349.99. And there's also an additional cost for the technology that runs the airbag. When you buy the airbag version of this jacket, you get an inner box which slots into the jacket and provides the brain power that detects an accident and it also tells the inflator to deploy the airbag. But before that in and box will work, you need to subscribe to the software that makes it work. You can have a rolling monthly subscription, and that's currently 12 euros. An annual subscription is 120 euros, or you can lay out 399 euros for a lifetime subscription to the in and box. Once you've got that and got it up and running, you slot it into the integrated back protector, which you access by undoing a zip inside the jacket, and then pressing a button on that back protector turns the airbag on and off. There is a reassurance that comes with having technology like that to protect you. The cost is coming down all the time, although it is the cost of the subscription that's making some riders fear the leap into the new technology. Having worn this jacket for 100 miles or so and also spent quite a bit of time on the road with other RST airbag equipped jackets, I wouldn't have even known it was there. Thankfully, I've not given it the ultimate test and I hope that remains the case. But in daily life, the airbag presents no problems. And as I said, it does give quite a lot of reassurance that it's there to protect you. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Sabre textile jacket, whether you're going for the airbag version or the non-airbag version. But if there is anything you'd like to ask 
or to add, then please pop a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. Thanks for watching.